Hello students! Welcome to our lesson 4 and 5, grade 7, quarter 1, week 4 and 5. This school-based module is prepared by Ma'am Grace Morale. The title of our lesson is Distinguishing Pure Substances from Mixtures. As you can see, there is a concept map here about matter. And when we say matter, it is everything around you. Atoms and compounds are all made of very small parts of matter. Those atoms go on to build the things you see and touch every day. Matter is defined as anything that has mass and takes up space. It has volume. Matter can be broken down into two categories, pure substances and mixtures. Pure substances are further broken down into elements and compounds. Mixtures are physically combined structures that can be separated into their original components. It can be homogeneous mixture or heterogeneous mixture. Pure substances can be elements or compounds. It cannot be separated into two or more substances by physical means and which has constant properties all throughout. Table salt, copper, and aluminum are examples of pure substances. If a sample of a matter is not a pure substance, then we call it a mixture. Mag-review muna tayo. Last week, pinag-aralan natin that elements are made up of only one type of atom. It is a substance that cannot be broken down into any other substance. Nasabi ko si inyo na last week, pag kumuha ka ng sample ng element na yon or pagkapirapirasuhin mo pa rin, still pare-pareho pa rin ang kanilang chemical composition. And when we say compound, it is a substance formed when two or more elements are chemically joined. Example, table salt. Diba, combination siya ng dalawang elements, ang sodium at chlorine. Kaya tinawag natin siyang sodium chloride. We also have the H2O or the water. It is used for drinking, for washing, and for cleaning at kung saan-saan pa siya ginagamit. If a sample of a matter is not a pure substance, then we call it a mixture. Mixtures are made up of two or more substances that are physically combined. It can be in the form of solids, liquids, and or gases in any combination. Nung grade 6 kayo, napag-aralan nyo ang two types of mixtures, ang homogeneous mixtures at heterogeneous mixtures. When we say homogeneous mixtures, substances are distributed evenly throughout the mixture. All regions are identical in their composition and properties. Example is yung coffee. Diba? When you mix the coffee powder dun sa hot water, nadidissolve na yung coffee powder. That is an example of homogeneous mixture. All regions are identical in their composition and properties. Another is the heterogeneous mixtures. Substances are not evenly distributed throughout the mixture. Some regions have different properties than others. Example is a vegetable salad. Diba? Ito yung type ng mixture na nakikita mo pa rin yung ingredients tulad ng lettuce, tomato, onion, at kung ano-ano pa. So that is an example of heterogeneous mixture. Next, you can see here that there are different types of mixture. We have the solid-solid mixture, example, vegetable salad, concrete, cement, jewelry. We have the liquid-liquid mixture, example, vinegar, soy sauce, fish sauce, lotion, shampoo, milk tea. We have the solid-liquid mixture. We have the water with ice, halo-halo, macaroni soup, sinigang. We have the liquid gas mixture, soap, bubbles, soda drinks, coffee. We also have the gas-gas mixture, the air around us. We also have the liquid gas mixture, the fog, water droplets suspended in the air. As you can see here, there are six possible kinds of mixtures. Mixture of gases, mixture of liquids, mixture of solids, mixture of gases in a liquid, mixture of solids in a liquid, mixture of a solids and gases. So for your activity number one, in each picture below, there are six pictures. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
there is an arrow that points to a mixture described in the lease of the previous page. Write the letter in its place that shows what kind of mixture it is below each picture. So, dito kayo pipili ng sagot, ha? Letter A, B, C, D, E, F. Titignan nyo maigi yung picture kung anong kind of mixture meron sa pinapakitang sample. Next, we have the questions, true or false. Copy the table below and answer the statements if it is true or false. Check the box that corresponds to your answer. Madali lang to. There are five statements here. One, two, three, four, five. So, pipili lang kayo kung ito ba ay tama, true, or mali, false. So, iti-check nyo lang siya sa true or sa false. Madali lang yan. Kayang-kaya mo yan. Let's move on to activity number two. In the table below, classify the following materials as pure substances or mixtures by writing P, S, or M respectively in the empty boxes. You don't need to draw the pictures. Ang gagawin mo lang, isusulat mo lang yung tamang sagot kung P, S, or M. Example, air. So, ilan bang meron tayo dito? Meron tayo ditong 20 items. So, this one is the last part of our activity number 4. Yung activity number 2 lang. Hanggang dito lang tayo sa 20. Pero, paano ba siya sagutan? Okay, ganito lang yan. All you have to do is to write P, S, or M. Example, number 5. We have the carbon dioxide. So, carbon dioxide is an example of... Very good! It is an example of a compound. So, a compound is an example of pure substance. That's why you're going to write here P-S. Okay? Another. Let's look at this one. Mm -hmm. Number 18. Soup. This one is a sopas. Yung masarap na pagkain na kinakain natin sa tuwing umuulan. So, this one is an example of mixture. Diba? Marami tong ingredients. May carrots, macaroni, milk, at kung ano-ano pang gulay ang nilalagay ni nanay. So, this one is an example of mixture. So, ang ilalagay nyo, letter M. Last one, table salt. This is an example of compound. So, if this, if this is a compound, so ang answer natin is P-S, pure substance. Okay, nakuha ba? So, for activity number 2, all you have to do is to write PS or M. This is only 20 items. At hanggang dito na lang tayo para sa ating module number 4, week 4. Kasi yung susunod, it's all about mixture at para na yan sa activity number 5 or week 5 natin. Kaya naman, galingan nyo sa pagsagot ha. Muli! Magkita-kita tayo sa susunod na module sa Module 5. Huwag kalimutan isubscribe ang ating channel para updated kayo sa ating modules. Muli, mag-iingat at tandaan natin sa panahon ngayon mga bata, ang kalusugan ang importante sa lahat.